How is it going on guys? This is Chris the Fit French. Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about nutrition in a simple and effective way. You might know that nutrition controls your energy balance. At a very simple level, it's basically fuel for your body, but it's more complex than that. If you have to think it in a simple manner, it's calories in, food that you're eating, and calories out you're expanding your energy, so you need more energy. There's no such thing as a universal best diet. There are a lot of cultural differences and you have to find the diet that fits your schedule and that meets your energy needs. If you're an international athlete, a pro bodybuilder, nutrition is everything and it's almost like an obsession. But at our level, no more human beings, we need to know what we are doing more or less. And then you can move into more complex principles about nutrition. But today we're going to stay basic and reliable. If you're very confused about nutrition and you don't know what to do, there's a simple trick you can use with your hands. And it's universal, it's easy. I don't know why they don't teach it everywhere, but I'll show you how to do it. When you're in a restaurant or at a friend's place, uh, you're going to use your hand. You're not going to use it your entire life. It's just in the beginning to have a clear vision of the portions and then you'll get used to it. So you can use the palm of your hand, this section, to know if you eat meat, if you eat beef, chicken, fish, this section of your hand is one portion of meat, one portion of protein that is recommended for women and two palms of your hand, this is recommended for men. So one portion of meat for women, two portions for men. Then you're gonna use your fist. So your entire fist is what is recommended for vegetables. For women is one portion and for men is two portions. Then um, most of us, we eat rice, potatoes, pasta in the Western culture. So this is the cup of your hand. So you're gonna use the cup of your hand to know how much rice, potato, a pasta you need. So bear in mind that in the Latin culture we eat a lot, a lot of pasta, a lot of carbs. So uh, the same is uh, one portion for women, two portions for men. Um, if you can reduce your amount of carb as much as possible, then I recommend this, but this is my personal opinion. And the last thing you can use is your thumb. So this section to know how much fat you need. So when you think about fat, you have to think about healthy fats like olive oil or nuts and seed, which not a lot of people eat in general, but this is what is recommended. If you have to picture your plate, half of your plate, 50% should be vegetables, then 25%, uh, one quarter of your plate should be any kind of meat, if you eat meat, if you're not a vegan or vegetarian, and the rest of your plate should be uh, what we call starches, which is pasta rice of a type of carbs and the last quarter of your plate should be uh, a mix of so 50% of this quarter should be carbohydrates uh, what we call starches like pasta rice potatoes and the rest of this quarter should be healthy fat take the habit when you go to a restaurant try to visualize as much as possible but in the beginning use your hand so this is meat this is vegetable uh, you know this is uh, fat uh, take notes write it down somewhere on your phone so you can remember um, you can use this in terms of carbohydrates you can remember those uh, three rules so the first rule will be using your hands the second one is your plate how it looks like and the third rule which is it's a bit more complicated, but uh, basically what is recommended is you have to stop eating when you're feeling 80% full and you have to eat slowly. What I assume is very difficult in the Western culture or in a big city where you don't think about eating slowly, but this is actually probably the best thing you can do. Uh, I would add to drink water before eating two cups of water because it will kill a little bit your hunger. The other topic I want to talk to today is what we call emotional eating. It's great that I'm teaching you all those tricks, but are you going to apply them? A lot of you are not going to take the time to do that because they don't have the motivation high enough. I think a lot of recommendation on nutrition is really good for people who are feeling healthy, have a good mindset, uh, who are already 
are already taking the steps, but there's not a lot of information for people who are emotional eaters. Everyone does it. I think in the community we talk about cheat meals and things like that. Um, this is not really something I recommend. I think there is still some emotions attached with this uh, cheat meal. What I would recommend though is to allow yourself to eat small portions of things that you like. Especially if you're in a culture, let's say if you're from Italy or France, there's a lot of pastries, the croissant, and it's very difficult to live in a country where you have such great food and not enjoy them. On the other hand, emotional eating has to be thought through discipline and good habits. So if you like this kind of books, I recommend reading a few chapters on the power of good habit. It's very powerful and you understand that a lot of things in life are skills and we tend to get a bit emotional, especially when we're eating. But you have to think that uh, nutrition is much more complex than just fuel. It's worth taking the time to educate yourself on nutrition, even at a basic level. Maybe some of you guys are going to need strong discipline and stick to a very strict diet. And once you feel a bit comfortable, better in your mindset, then you can allow yourself some cheat meals or some things a bit more sweet or a bit more not recommended, but it's actually healthy for your mind to eat things that are not healthy. The problem reside in this gray area where it's not eat or not eat this particular food, but it's a balance. It's really difficult to explain it to everyone because everyone has a different interpretation of words. So that's why I think uh, some decent habits and those tricks that I showed you are actually useful. I think we live in a great time. There's a lot more freedom and information is everywhere. The only thing is sometimes we have too much information and we don't align ourselves with our body and our goals. What I want you guys to do is to educate yourself as much as possible and start very simple. Just for today, try to use this trick only once and see how it works. If you're enjoying it, maybe do it tomorrow or two days after then it becomes a habit. The goal here is not to sell you a product, uh, it's just to educate yourself. And I think it will be beneficial for everyone to educate themselves on nutrition. You're gonna be more autonomous and the goal is to understand your body because everyone has a different way of digesting, of taking the calories in, you have different body types. So there's no universal diet, but there are some rules that are efficient and in cultures where they eat this kind of diet, with, um, a good balance of vegetables, carbohydrates, meat, you can see it in their body, the results. You can argue that it could be because of metabolism. If you're a foreigner, you can go to this country, I think about Sweden, for instance, then, or if you go to Poland, then people are actually slim. So it must be something to do with the quantities they eat and their diet and of course it can be improved. Hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to know more about your diet or you have any issues with it. If you had any bad experience with people telling you to eat a certain kind of food, um, if you've been scammed, let me know in the comment section below. You can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram. I give a lot of tips for free about nutrition and fitness. And if you're looking for good clothing for fitness, I recommend using uh, the VXS website. It will be linked in the description down below. And that's it. Enjoy your day, guys.